Hi, Marcus Cove, orthopaedic surgeon, and today I want to talk to you about one of the complications of hip replacement, namely leg length discrepancy or leg length inequality. Now, you're wondering how this occurs. Well, when we're doing a hip replacement, we have to make sure that the hip constructs, so the ball and socket joint that we're putting in, is stable. To do this, we require soft tissue tension around it to make it happen. Now, often when we do this, we can sometimes jack the leg down a little bit, and this leads to some difference in leg length equality. However, if we look at the general population, leg length inequality is present as a norm. There was an interesting study done in 1988 on Russian military recruits where they looked at 600 recruits. They found that one in three had a leg length discrepancy of between half a centimetre to a centimetre and a half. One in 25 had a difference of 1.5 centimetres, which what we'd class from the surgery point of view is quite a significant leg length difference. Now, you're asking how often does it occur and how big a risk is it to me if I'm undergoing hip replacement surgery? And the risk is in the literature ranges from 1% up to 27%. And so it is quite a small risk if we go along the lines of 1%, which means it happens to about one in 100 people. And the difference in leg length noted afterwards ranges from half a centimetre up to one and a half centimetres. So interestingly, similar to what a third of the population has. Now, when I perform hip replacement surgeries, I always assess what the leg length difference is beforehand. And when someone has an arthritic hip, you do find that the leg sometimes shortens through two mechanisms, namely the arthritic change in the hip and the fact that they get what's called a fixed flexion deformity, so they can't fully straighten the leg out. Now, following surgery, people will often notice that it feels like there's a leg length discrepancy, but actually all it is, is that the muscle is weaker at the side of the hip that's been operated on, so the pelvis tends to drop when they put their weight through that leg, and it gives the feeling of there being a difference between the two. Thankfully, although they'll notice this at six weeks, by six months, they no longer notice this as the muscle has recovered and built back up. I hope that's helpful for you if you're due to undergo hip replacement surgery or if you're wondering why there is a risk of leg length discrepancy.